with Fi and Alice after going through our first door. The system of going through doors is going to be a little bit different than it was in the first game, obviously. Um, so I'm guessing that any sort of timer is, is paused here. We've got handcuffs or a chain, chain link lock or something on door number three. Let's have a quick look at that. Damn, there's handcuffs on the door. I can't open it. Right, let's go through door number one. Who was in here? I don't think anyone was in here, I think. Um, Alice was in door number two and five was in four. Right, we've got an old phone, another safe. Which I guess will be in every room. A big, another big safe here. A book and some shapes on the walls. Okay. Um, let's look at the book first. Oh, right, Schrodinger, Schrodinger's cat. There's a book on top of the desk. I've, I turned down the music and the sound effects a little bit, but they're still pretty loud. Let me see here. It's called... How the hell do I pronounce that? Schrodinger's cat. There's a kitty on the cover. Isn't that just precious? Whoops, there it goes. Still can't help talking like a cat when I talk about a cat. Let's see what's in here. Looks like all sorts of sciencey stuff. I have no idea what any of this means. I don't think this part of any kind of, this is any part of any kind of puzzle, so I'm just going to leave it here. A desk. Looks like the top's made of glass. What's the deal with this drawer though? There's a drawer sticking out from the desk, but there's nothing in it. Since the top of the desk is made of glass, I should be able to see anything I put in the drawer. What's this? I don't think it's a stain, a triangle, a leaf thing, and another triangle. What's that thing on the right? Looks like the silhouette of a fox. Right, so we've got uh, an equilateral triangle, a kite, a right angle triangle, and... Um, it's, it's, it's a hexagon of sorts. Right, it's a six-sided shape, anyway. Uh, where did the book go? Oh, is it in the fi uh, file section? What? Help! Huh. Oh, we've, we've moved it. Sure. Right. So Schrodinger's cat, the thought experiment, obviously. Is this like a, a folding bed or a baby changing thing? Huh. What's this? There's a human silhouette drawn in white on the bed. The area where the left knee would be has been ripped out. I wonder if it me uh, that means anything. There's a set of three connected panels behind the phone. It looks like... It looks sort of like a mirror. The surface is kind of matte and it isn't very reflective. But the light is good so it's easy to see what's on it. Or it would be if there was anything on it. It's a monitor, isn't it? Several plates are attached to one another. They look kind of like a mirror. Some red dashes. A phone. Is it connected? Nine. A phone. This is the part where the tape goes. Put the phone down. It looks like there's a piece of metal in there. Some kind of pin. 
use it. Obviously put here, so I'm guessing it's important somehow. Huh. Well, whatever it is, I can't get to it get it get it out right now. I need to get the lid open. Jesus, do not do that again. Right. Um So there will be some sort of phone number to dial that reaches the uh, messages and tape, right? Or to change the tape. Damn. It's locked. I think this panel here is what unlocks it, but nothing happens when I push the buttons. Is that a keyhole in the top there? Huh. Probably need a key or something. Right, well, we know where that is. I don't know why it has to be so difficult to look up. Okay, now, the this might be a code for 3436, right? Huh. Why should I call next? 3, 4... Oh, that's not good. I can't connect to anything. Alright, fine. Oh, someone left a book about cats sitting me out. A safe. It looks like the one in the Amberdex room. I wonder if I can open it the same way. Let's try entering the passcode. Fail. Damn, what should I do? And maybe we need to look in the other rooms, I suppose. Let's do that. Right, let's go talk to Alice. I think Alice is investigating this room. Oh well, don't think she'll mind if I go in. Just the camera. Sigma? What are you doing here? Just thought I'd come check on you. Oh! Well, I haven't found anything interesting. Where is she? Right, there's a key here. More dash it. Oh god. Right, left L. Right, I should be writing some of this stuff down. We've got a four door puzzle. Uh, which knee was it? The right knee? Uh, yeah, the body outline. Uh, we had. No, it was the left. It was the left knee. And the left knee. Now the left elbow. Damn. Another one. What do you mean another one? I saw one of these silhouettes earlier. It had a torn part too, although it was a different part. The area around the left forearm has been torn. You think that's a clue of some sort? Probably. There's something on top of the desk. It's a little piece of metal. Yeah. A stick with three rings on it. Am I supposed to insert it somewhere? No. Nearly said Detective Junpei then. Det Detective Sigma. Hey, there's some weird shapes in this room too. What do you mean, two? Did you see something like this in the other rooms? God, yes, honestly. Yeah, just like this. Symbols on the wall, desk, everything. Really? What could they mean? So we've got nine dashes and what? Uh, not, sorry, ten dashes. So flat. True, but it's probably handy for examining things. How do you figure that? Well, look at the table. The top's made of glass, right? If you put something in the drawer and close it, you could see it through the glass. 
Can I put... Can I put the key in there? I don't know. Huh. The phone. It looks rather old. Look at the top there. It's got a place for a small cassette tape. I think the tape's actually for the answering machine part of the phone. That'd make this phone decades old. An old-fashioned phone. It has a built-in answering machine that records messages onto a cassette tape. Sorry, I was trying to click different parts of the phone. Okay, I'm a bit clueless here. Huh, wonder what's in here. Well, keep wondering, it's locked. See? Told you so. There's a panel over here where you can put in a passcode. I can just get it to work. Enter a four digit code, then press the enter key on the right. Well, let's give it a try. Right, so I'm guessing these combine. That's six plus one, and we need to do that four times. I mean, the code from the other room was, what was it? It was three, four, three, Six. No. Do you have any ideas? Ideas for what? How to use it? Well, of course I do. Huh. You really think you're going to open it by pressing random buttons? Well, I thought maybe I'd get lucky. It doesn't work like that. There's no way you're going to get this thing open unless you know. Yes, I know, I know. Huh, okay. We've got this key now. We can see if that works somewhere else. Yep, let's go and talk to Fi, even though she doesn't like talking to us. Bit of a moody sort. Let's be honest. Oh, hi, Sigma. Find anything? Not really. Oh. Hello there. By the gods, I never thought I'd see one. Oh, what? You scratch off the silver part with a coin so you can see the naughty stuff. Really? <laughs> it's the ultimate in interactive poster technology. What teenage boy doesn't dream of something like this? Yes, the excitement, the anticipation, and finally, the reveal. You look pretty excited. Of course, this chunk of metal ought to do it. Damn it. It's too slippery. I think I'm going to need a coin to deal with that silver menace. Sure. Uh, right knee. Man, not again. Again? This silhouette. Oh, did you see one in another room? Yeah, I saw another one just like this. It had a hole torn around the ankle too. No, it had a hole, but it was somewhere else. That's that's the ankle. That's where the, you think the ankle is. Fair enough. All right, we got something in the drawer here. Look, there's something on top of the desk. Yeah, it's a piece of metal, kind of cylindrical. Part of a key. There's a bump on one side, it has to be part of a key. It's too slippery right now though, I don't think we can use it. True. The inside's hollow though, maybe you can put something into it. Right, there's the key. A small key. Right, so hang on, this might be 313. Three, one, one, three. Who knows? Damn it, it won't open. Yeah, it looks like it's locked. Yeah, we just need to figure out how. Um, three, one, one, three. No! Yeah, it wasn't a random number. Now, what else could this mean? Not entirely sure. Yeah, I should make a doodle, though. 
So this one's, yeah, three, one on the middle, one on the bottom, and then another three. The one in the next room was one in the middle and then nine dashes all together. All right, let's go and try and maybe use this key in the first room. Or we could use this key to unlock the handcuffs, perhaps. Yes, goodbye handcuffs. Shouldn't have any more door problems now. Right. Right, is that the shoulder then? Damn, just like the other ones. It's ripped too, but in a different place. Uh, upper right arm. Right shoulder. There's something on here. A box cutter? A large box cutter. It's pretty heavy, actually. Whoa, we've got patterns here too, huh? Um, okay. A weird tick. Uh, can we not pick up that book? So I feel like these codes are either for this or for the phone. But without a tape, I, I mean... This one's open. A phone. There's a spot that would fit a small cassette tape. But the lid's open. Telephone with an attached answering machine. The answering machine, yeah. Um... Oh, it's just, just open. That opened really easily. Guess it wasn't locked. A large roll of aluminum. Aluminium foil. What's this? It's all shiny. Is this aluminium foil? There's so much of it, though. Must be some kind of industrial-sized roll. It's way more than you'd use in any normal kitchen. I wonder how much there is. Maybe if I roll it out. There it goes. Huh. There's something printed on it. Looks like shapes and lines. Is it some kind of clue? I can't carry this around with me though. Maybe I can cut out the important parts somehow. Right. There are four strange shapes on the aluminum. Right. So we've got four different ones. There are stripes on this piece. There are stripes and slanted lines on this piece. Stripes and shapes. So maybe they'll appear in a certain way. So we want this one, I guess. All right, the aluminium foil's in place. Just got to shut it. Locker. Pattern on the wall is reflecting off the aluminium. Aluminium. The two patterns are overlaid on one another. It looks like it says locker. Huh. All oh, right, I can't take it back. I guess that means it's the right one. I guess that's the clue. Just open it, right? I will just say aluminum from now on. Don't tell any other British people, but I actually prefer saying aluminum because it's shorter and it sounds nicer. Even though it is technically aluminium. Let's not pretend it's not. All right, it's in place, just gotta shut it. Yep, 
The images on the wall are reflected on the aluminium, which is acting as a mirror. Both images are overlaid. It looks like a circle, a star, a diamond, and a triangle. Huh. What does that mean? I don't know. I, I appreciate that the star is one of the shapes that we can input, but we can't input the other ones, can we? Is it how many sides it's points it's got or something? So we can't take it out, so it must be correct. Yeah, so that, that's not what we want. Um, don't think, are they supposed to represent numbers? Probably not. Alright, let's just uh, go and see if we can reveal stuff in the other rooms. While we have other stuff we can actually do rather than just thinking too much. Right. I don't really know which one this one would be relevant to. Alright. The foil's in place, just gotta shut it. What, 1992? The pattern on the wall's being reflected. It's acting like a mirror. Now we can see both images overlapping. Hmm. No, I still don't get it. Let's try this again. Ah, that's the wrong one. Alright, let's try again. 4985. Pattern on the wall is being reflected. Yep. 4985. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yep. Um, four, nine, eight, five. Ha! Ah, piece of cake. Wow, good job. That was pretty impressive. You're very easily impressed. There's something in there. A cassette tape. A small cassette tape. Right, so let's head to room number four. And put the tape in. Uh, sorry, room number three. <laughs> Putting the cassette in now. All I have to do is close the lid. Alright, put the tape in now. What do I do? I want to hear what's on it. Okay. Didn't think that bit through. Right, let's solve the other puzzle then. I'll open the other door at least. Hi there, Fi. Alright, it's in place. Three, four, seven, two. Yes, three, four, seven, two. Three, four, seven, two. 
Good job. Huh. Yeah, I'm pretty great. Looks like there's something in there. Why is she being so suspiciously nice? Yes, check it out. Well, wallet. You probably shouldn't get your hopes up. Why not? Just a feeling. Yeah, fine, whatever. I'm not going to let you bring me down. Let's see what's in here. What the hell? What is it? There's only one coin in here. And it's not even real money. Just a toy coin. See? Didn't I tell you? Damn. A coin. Right, we can use this to unveil the naked lady. Alright, you sl silvery bastards. <laughs> Time to meet your doom. Let's do it. Yeah. Damn, you're excited. Hey, don't misunderstand me. I'm just really anxious to find a clue in there, aren't you? You want to let me do it then? Uh, I'm sorry. Please, just let me have this. And get on with it. Search for hints on the poster. Click and drag across the areas of interest to scratch them. <laughs> Click the green triangle on the left to move your view up and down. Let's get started. Great. <laughs> Got a shark tattoo. Okay. It's nothing raunchy, it's just a bikini. It doesn't look like there's going to be anything else, but you never know. I bet some of you will be triggered if I don't get rid of every single pixel. To be honest, it probably annoy me as well. So that's what we're going to do. What did you do today, Matt? Well... <laughs> Look at that. Nice and clean. Right. Is there even more stuff? All oh, right. Ah. We've got a number eight. Number nine. Sneaky. Okay, there's nothing here. Okay. Is that it? Four numbers? I mean, we got to reveal everything. I mean, it's only fair. It's like an, a raunchy poster of someone in the bikini and they've still got more clothes on than Alice. <laughs> Thanks. I was having fun. What are you doing? <laughs> ah. Damn. I look away for a second and you scratched it all off. Yeah. Right, so they're in particular shapes. Um, so we've got six in a star. Uh, one in a circle. A nine. Could be a six, I suppose, but... And an eight in the diamonds. The six and the nine could be upside down. I noticed some things that might be clues, so I kept going. You mean these marks on her arms and legs? Yeah. There are four of them. A star, a circle, a diamond, and a triangle. Hey, what are you doing? You've already scratched it all off. I think he's seeing if the bikini comes up. No, I'm not done yet. This blue part still needs to go. <laughs> Sigma, 
I don't think that's going to come off, no matter how hard you scrape. Right, so um, obviously the rooms have these various body parts on, right? So... Uh, I don't know how to connect that necessarily. I think it's just the order of the numbers, perhaps. I don't know. Or what slot they're in on the keypad, perhaps. Yeah. Um, I'm going to have to draw a stick figure. Right, so um, the six is on the right shoulder. The one is on the right elbow. The eight is on the left knee. Wait a minute. Yeah. The nine is on the right ankle. All right. <sighs> Okay, so what room are we in? Number four. So the left... No, the... God. The right ankle. Um... Six, one, nine, eight. So the right ankle is in behind door number four. Yep. Um, door number two is the left elbow. So the left elbow is in door number two. God, am I going... No, the left knee is... This one. Sorry. Um... So we're in room number one, so the... Number eight. Oh no, I was right the first time. Yeah, left knee, number eight. <laughs> oh what uh, oh, I've gone cross-eyed here man um, it's just because it's the one that's facing me I, I think that's right anyway I don't know if this is going to be for the phones or So, this should be the right shoulder, yeah? Right, so let's just try this code in the phone. So the code might be 8169. Oh. Um, wait, what? Yeah, okay, so... Fine. Uh, which room had the functioning telephone? Room number one. Okay. Right. Um, eight, one, 
six, nine. Bollocks! Now, there is a chance that the six and the nine are upside down. Right? So let's just try that again. Um, eight, one, nine, six. No. Hmm. Oh, I've not done this one, have I? Oh, right. These are these the same shapes. Yeah, so one, nine, because the star's the other way around. One, nine, eight, six, because the triangle, the pyramid, the triangle's also the other way around. Oh, wait, what? Crap! I forgot. We've got to get the key out of here first. So the reflection, do I need to input a certain number sequence that matches these four keys on the top perhaps? What, do I just need to put in one, two, three, four? Okay. So I guess, I mean, I understand that these dashes look like they're above these numbers, so. One, two, three, and four. Four, three, two, and one. No, I want to call number three. There's no phone number associated with this button. What? That's weird. Why can't I call room three? Internal line button, room two. Who is this? Oh, hey, Alice. So you are there. Sigma, is that you? Yeah, where are you calling from? Room one. That's right, next door. Why did you call me? You could just walk. Wait a minute. What's wrong? There's something on the display. It says 25... Asterix, asterix. Do you think it's a clue? Well, I'm going to look around a little more. I'll see you later. Great. Let's talk to Fi as well. Who's this? Just me. Better than justice, I suppose. Really? You can do better than that. I'm hanging up. Come on, wait. Wait, what do you want? And where are you calling from? Room one. Ah, uh, I guess they have some kind of internal line. Seems like it. So what is it you... Huh. What's this? Agricola? Is that... What the hell is Agricola? The hashtag. I wrote Agag, like Popeye instead. 
9-2. I didn't know you were into German style board game farming simulations. Whoops, I meant asterisk, asterisk. How on earth could you get those two mixed up? That's what it says on the phone display. Huh. Maybe it's a clue? Anyway, I'm gonna get back to searching this room. Call me if you find anything else. Cool, 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 cool. Right. 25. Uh, whatever. Oh no, it was asterisks. Yeah. What? Um, well. Okay, am I supposed to do it the other way around, I guess? Um, no. Bah! Wait, did I even open this? A locked locker. Oh, yeah, obviously. Man, I'm confused. The dashes reflected and upside down. So if they're upside down as well, what would the two be a seven? Nine would be a six. The asterisk would stay the same. What would the five be? I'm just going to input a, a few... Right, there we go. Um, right, so what do I really want to spell out? What, 2592? Probably. I'm such an idiot. Butter, butter, butter. Congratulations. That voice. Looks like you found the answer. The number you just entered is the number for the phone in the third room. The buttons here on top of the phone are just shortcuts. That means all the other phones have actual numbers too. Though I guess that's not really important. Anyway, you're calling room three right now. Room three. Then that means, since you're so clever, I'm sure you figured it out by now. Not really. But yes, you're right. I'm speaking to you from a pre-recorded tape. So you can grasp me all the questions you'd like, but I won't be able to answer them. I'm afraid this little talk is going to be a bit one-sided. And again, it's going to be a very little talk because I only have one thing to tell you. Have a look at the left screen above the phone. The answer you're looking for is hidden there. What answer, you ask? Well, I can't hop you with that one. Bye. Have a nice trace. Oh, there we are. Two six five two. Oh, 
Alright, there's another four digit number. What am I supposed to do with this? I guess I need to enter it somewhere. Let's see if these do anything. Nice! Hey, it opened. There's some kind of pin in there. Let's see. Metal pin. I already got that pin thing, so I can close the lid, right? There's a keyhole. I think the pin might fit in there. Huh. What was that noise? Maybe I can type stuff in now. Alright, let's do it. Alright. That took me longer than I would want. Uh, one... Nine... Eight... Six. Yes, it opened. What the hell is this? Oh! It's just like the code we saw in the Ambidex room. I mean, it's a different code of course, but it looks really similar. I think this probably opens a safe. Right, star, moon, sun. Star, moon, and sun. Alright. And we're done, I think. Right. Star, moon, sun. Yes! It opened. Man, what good is a victory dance when there's no one there to see it? I'm lonely. Oh well, I'll just have a look inside. Wait a minute. If I look through stuff in here without telling Fi and Alice, they might be suspicious later. You took something when we went looking. Yeah. Those two are... Uh, th those are two bad sides I really don't want to be on. I think I'll just go get them before I go through it. Well, that was easy enough. Hey, what's this? Did you open this, Sigma? Yeah. Who else could have? Why didn't you tell us sooner? What? Forget about it, Alice. Let's just see what's in there. What's this thing? A map. It says floor A. Hmm. We can look at it more later. There's more stuff in the safe. Why don't we get all of it? before we start going through it. Good idea. Looks like we've got a card. Key card. Whoop, make that two key cards. This is one of those cards for the AB rooms. See, it says Ambidex room right there. So it does. And we can use these to open the AB rooms. Yep. But how are we supposed to get back there? The door to the warehouse is still locked. I think the answer to that, to that question is in the safe. Check out this note. Here are a few more rules for you. Once you've opened a door, you can hop through it as much as you like. The chromatic doors are like that too. Once you open them, even I cannot keep you from going in and out of them. Any colour of bracelet can go through them as many people as you like. But, 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 you have to escape before you can take advantage of this free reign rule. Once you've activated the chromatic door and gone through it to the puzzle beyond, it won't let you back until you've solved the puzzle. I see. So once we can get out of the crew quarters, we can head back to the warehouse. Right? Yeah, seems like it. And this key is how we're going to get out of here. Right. So this key will open the door at the end of the hallway. A key. I should be able to use this. Let's go. Wait. What about this book on the top of the safe? Huh. Oh, it's a book about cats. But do we have time for that right now? Right, Meow? Meow? Sorry. It's this sort of... I guess you could call it a tick. I've had it since I was young. What, just like the Zero AI? I wish I was just kit kitten, but I can't control it. It's not dangerous, though. You're perfectly fine. Oh, dear. A wheezy... I was going to suggest this earlier, but 
you know, in terms of considering who Zero is, I was wondering if they would make the player be the Zero character. I guess this is hinting at just that. Not dangerous. Um, anyway, the book's called Schrodinger's Cat. Don't you mean Schrodinger's Cat? Oh, you've heard of it? I think it'd be harder to find someone who hasn't heard of it. For real. Do you know what it is too, Alice? Of course I do. I was just wondering why this book was here. So what is Schrodinger's Cat? It's a quantum physics thought experiment. The book probably discusses the principles the experiment talks about in more depth. See, Erwin Rudolf Josef Alexander Schrodinger was a scholar of theoretical physics in Austria. He was born in 1887 and... Wait, is this going to be a long story? Yep. But thought so. How about we talk about it later then? I mean, we just found the key that will get us out of here. You do have a point there. Yeah, he does. We should leave now. Alright, let's go. Oh man, I want to talk about Schrodinger. Uh, I guess I could go back to try and find more stuff. Hey, what are you doing? The exit's that way. Right, no, I can't. A lock for the door. Right now it says lock. You guys ready? I'm going to open the door. All right, I'm ready. Go for it. All right then. Three, two, one. You found it. Okay, we're going on a long trek. We made our way down the hallway and at the end waiting for us. Everyone else. Hey, looks like the gang's all here. What's up? Nothing's up. We left our room, and it left. And ended up here. Sigma, let me see that map you found earlier. All right. So which door we took, all of them led back here. That's the same as the map we found in the lounge. Oh, the lounge? we found something like that too. Our room was an infirmary. That's so. We found ours in the crew quarters. Well, let, let me write that down. So we had uh, the crew quarters. Infirmary. And where were the others? Huh. Maybe we should sit down for a bit and exchange information. Yes, Mr. Frowns a lot. No. There's plenty of time for that after we check out this elevator. Sure. Is just like the other floor. These doors have colors on them too. I really hope people don't dress like this in 2028. The one on the left is green. Left? What? The one in the middle is blue. Oh, alright. And the one on the right is red. Okay. Thank you. Are these chromatic doors? Look, there's a box here. It looked like the ones we saw earlier. Thank you, Detective Child. Huh. Yeah, one budge. Yeah, just like the other doors. 
No good trying to force it open, I suppose. Yeah, I, I know, man. I know. I know. We've been through this tent. Is something wrong, Alice? You've been staring at your bracelet. Oh. Has it changed? No, I'm fine. But it looks like my guess was right. The numbers have changed. <laughs> numbers? Oh, yeah, the time left. Looks like two hours. Six minutes. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, well, you chill out with the language, dear. You telling me we're going to have to just sit around here for another two hours? Yeah, oh, looks like we don't have a choice then. We gotta head back. Clover, how about you show them that note we found? Oh, okay. Uh, hold on. Huh? Was it something about supplementary rules? Because we found a note just like that. It was in the infirmary. Yeah, we found one too. It was in the safe in the crew quarters. Here are a few more rules for you. Once you've opened a door, you can hop through it as much as you like. The chromatic doors are like that too. Once you open them, even I can't keep you from going in and out of them. Any colour of bracelet can go through them, as many people as you like. But, 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 you have to escape before you can take advantage of this free reign rule. Once you've activated a chromatic door and gone through it to the puzzle beyond, I won't let you back until you've solved it. That's, oh, that's the one we had. If that's true, then we can all go back the way we came and get into the warehouse. I don't think Zero's saying we can. I think he's saying we have to. Otherwise, what's the point of that key card? You mean this? The Ambidex room key? We found some too. That really sounds like Ace, doesn't it? That makes six then. One for each AB room. Let's head back to the warehouse. <laughs> Uh, so when Zero says jump, we say how high, huh? How fucking high, man. If you don't like it, stay here. Stupid angry mutt watching the door sounds about right. <sighs> Asshole. Better hope I don't have rabies, you self-satisfied old turd. God's sake, dude. Well, what's it going to be? Are you going to go back with us? Or are you staying here by yourself? All right, fine. I'm going. All right, let's mosey on back. Okay, riveting. So, this is the crew quarters, huh? Yes. Just as the note said. That sounds like Ace, man. We had no trouble getting in here. He's like a similar height as well. That means we can go to the infirmary or the lounge. Yeah, we can check out any of them. Grandpa, they got a poster of a lady in here. It looks like the ones you got back home. How would you know what he's got back home? Hmm. Is that his actual grandpa? This one's pretty hot. I think we're talking at least 14, maybe even 15 EU. EU? What the hell are you talking Agreed. about? Agreed. I sure would like to take it home with me. Is in the price of the poster. Fortunately, I don't think this is really the time for that. Let's keep moving. Oh, hold on. Grandpa? Since when were they buddies? Or had they always been that close? In other words, they'd known each other before the nonary game. And if Quark was calling Ten Grandpa, maybe they were even related. Alice and Clover seemed to be close too. Just how many of these people knew each other already? Let's go, buddy. I can't wait to get out of here and back to my, uh, Grandpa videos. Oh, you mean the ones you keep in the locked cabinet? Jesus. The be too loud, Quark. You have to say these things quietly. <laughs> Can't we just appear there in the warehouse? Yes, thank you. Oh. <sighs> 
<laughs> oh, for God's sake. Oh, you're finally done. You were taking so long. I hopped off for a little nap. Ah, for... Yawning? Really? You're just a computer program. Oh my god, yes, we know, dear. You don't get tired. Hey, B.O. My temper's got a hair trigger, and you're awfully close to pulling it. So I'd watch my mouth if I were you. Yeah. Otherwise... Well, do you really need me to spell it out? Uh, forget it. <laughs> That's a good boy. Yes, be quiet, Captain Top Hat. Honestly. Alrighty! Let's get back to what we were talking about earlier. Namely, how do you get more BP? <laughs> we go to the AB rooms, right? Look. We've got some keys for them right here. Q and Quark have two each, so we've got six all together. But who goes into what room? <laughs> that doesn't really matter. Anybody can go into any room. But there are only six rooms. Didn't I tell you? The two members of a pair share the same destiny. Right. Then you mean both members of a pair need to go into the same room? So there's, there's three solos and three pairs, so all six rooms will get used. Yes! 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 What do we do after we go into the room? Play a game. Just like it says on the door. You play the Ambidex game! Wait. What's ambidex supposed to mean anyway? I would guess it's short for ambidextrous. Most use the word to refer to the ability to use both of one's hands, instead of favoring the left or right. But it can also be taken to mean someone who is duplicitous or two-faced. <laughs> yes, master man. It's a game of betrayal. Well, yes, I guess you could put it that way. Then what's the nonary game? Oh. That refers to the whole enchilada. The Nonary game is a game where you try to open the number nine door and escape. Yeah. The Ambidex game is just a mini game you play as part of the larger one. Yes, yes. Makes sense? Yes. Like hell. This shit oh, is confusing. Is it? Or is it that you're just a few carats short of a bushel? Yes. I mean, this whole acting stupid thing of being overly aggressive could be Dio covering for himself because he's really zero. What do you think, Bio? <sighs> you arrogant little bastard. <laughs> well, that's just how I am. So you better get used to it. Uh, now, could I have you all move to the AB room, please? I'll give you more specifics once everyone's inside. I think it'll probably be easier to understand that way. Q, Quark, and myself each gave one card to Luna, Alice, and Ten. Then we headed to, into the AB rooms. There wasn't really any discussion about who'd go into which door, but Fly and I found ourselves heading toward the leftmost room. It's like everybody else has gone in already. I think we should head into. Why are you asking me? Because we're a pair, you. Just hurry up and get in there. All right, all right. An Ambidex gate has been opened. 45 yes. minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. What? This game's got a time limit too? Something Wait. wrong? No, nothing. I just... There's no one here. What are you talking about? Of course there isn't anyone here. Well, yeah, I, I know. I Let's just... Let's get inside. Yeah, right. Same as before. This looks just like the room we woke up in. Yeah, well, there's one thing that's different. That screen. Yeah, looks like there's something on it. The Ambidex game will now begin. To enter your vote, please touch the start button on your screen. Once you've entered your vote, the door will lock automatically. It will not open again until the polling period has finished. What? what the hell are you doing, you idiot? What? I just pressed the start Did button. Did you even read what it said? Yes. Once you press that button, it locks the door for 40 minutes. Now, thanks to your stupid ass, we're stuck in here for almost an hour. What did you think was going to happen? 
Yes, really. Oh, for God's sake. Stop being so prickly. <sighs> Let's just get on with it, man. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey! Looks like everybody's closed their AB gates. Yes. <laughs> That's the door to the AB room, silly. You're in the AB room. Yep, yep. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be continuing my earlier explanation. Yes. Please hurry up. Now, let's get this party started! Let me tell you about the AB game. Since it's a game, you're obviously going to have an opponent. But it's not like this is a battle royale where you just fight everybody. Each round will be a one on one battle. Mono a mono, or mono a womano! Well, there are two people in each pair, aren't there? So it'll be more of a two-on-one battle, I guess. <laughs> now, I imagine you're all wondering who your opponent is going to be. It's actually really easy. You'll be competing against whoever you paired up with to go through the chromatic doors. Okay. For example, Siggy and Fido paired up with Alas and went through the Cyan door, didn't they? That means that Siggy and Fido will be playing against Alas. And it goes the other way, too. Alas's opponent will be Siggy and Fido. Obviously, that means Potassium and Clevo's enemy will be Tamioli, and B.O. and Quirk's enemy will be Mooney. Well, I guess enemy isn't really the right word, is it? No. After all, if you choose ally, then they're your ally. What? Don't get it? No. Well, don't worry. Just listen while Zero the Third explains it all. So we can choose to make them an enemy or an ally. First, I want everybody to focus on the screen on the device in the back of the room. You should see A, ally, and B, betray on it. Do you? All you guys have to do is pick! Just pick one of those easy options! Huh. Well, why? Your BP will go up or down, depending on what you pick. It's a little complicated, and some of you are a little slow. So, I made this handy chart. The plus and minus are from your point of view. Okay, so you get extra points if you both ally you get three if one allies and one betrays. You lose points. If oh right. If we ally and they betray, we lose points. Right, okay, I understand. Okay. So if we're betrayed, we lose points. If we betray, we get three points. If we both ally, it's two. If we both betray, it's a break even. So, let's say you choose ally, and so does your opponent. You'll get two BP, and so will they. And you'll all get a nice warm, fuzzy feeling inside. Sure. We call that the best pals outcome. Just puts a smile on your face, doesn't it? Next is what you get if you choose ally, but your opponent chooses to betray. If that happens, you lose two BP and they get three. We call that the stupid jerk face outcome. Somebody did that to me. Let's skin them and stew them with some tires. Is that a Lord of the Rings reference? The third choice is the opposite of that. It's when you choose betray, but your nice, innocent opponent chooses ally. 
This time, you're the one who gets three BP, and they're the one who loses two. Okay, so the safest thing to do is to always pick betray because you can never lose any points. We call that the serves them right outcome. I mean, what were they thinking? Choosing ally was a stupid choice. And there's nothing for you to feel guilty about! And finally, the very last scenario! This is when you choose Betray, and so does your opponent! If that happens, neither of you gets or loses anything. Absolutely zero change in BP. Ugh. Boring! We call this the why even bother outcome. As the Game Master here, this is the situation. I want to avoid the most. You're probably wondering about the pairs, aren't you? Oh, let me explain. Remember how I told you that both people in a pair share a destiny? Mm -hmm. Well, that applies here, too. The two of you only get one vote. You get to choose once between ally or betray. That doesn't mean you split your points, though. You both get three points, or lose two points, or whatever. In other words, what you see on this chart is what you get. Yes, I understand. Okay, then. I think that about does it for the basic rules. Well, actually, there's a little bit more, but... Oh. Yeah, we'll just have to wait, I guess. Yes. <laughs> what? Why does it have to wait? Gosh, now. It'll be okay. No, it won't. 30 minutes remain until Abidex game polling closes. Anyway, I've got to hop along now. Don't do something harebrained and wait until the last minute. You've got plenty of time, so think it out. Interesting. So this is definitely a way of creating tension in the group, right? You've got to think about what kind of person the other person is. Bye bye now! Bye bye. Have a nice trust! Hmm, man. What are we gonna do? About the AB game? Right, guys. Uh, I've got to keep these videos close to an hour. Otherwise, I'm never gonna be able to keep up with my schedule. If they're closer to two hours, it just it screws me up. So I'm just, I'm gonna keep on recording, but I'll, I'm gonna start the next video. Um, right, excellent. So we made it out of the crew quarters. There's another wrinkle to the game here that's going to involve voting. Um, I guess the question is, in terms of judging Alice, it's, the question is, is it Lotus or is it a different person? Right? So if I was Lotus, I don't know what she would do. If I was trying to, you know, judge what she's like. I imagine if Lotus was had... Uh, Clover on the other side, she would choose to ally. But, um, hmm. I mean, I would probably just lean towards the um, picking ally in this first run through. I suppose when we have different people, like if it's Dio or the mask guy's paired with Clover, so I guess it's not likely you'll pick Betray there, but. Anyway, we'll pick it up from here next time and move on with our vote. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Leave me a thumbs up if you did. Just remember, everyone, never trust an on-crate. See you next time.